guys, Jim the Iowa Tesla guy. Welcome back to the channel. We are not in Iowa. We are actually in Colorado up in the mountains and I thought I would put together a quick video to show you a couple of things, a couple tips with the Tesla in how to take most advantage of the Tesla in the mountains. And one of the things that you may or may not know is that autopilot works very well, even in twisty, windy roads like this. And I'm finding that it does a really good job most of the time um, in navigating these twisty windy roads where you're doing 40, 35, 45 miles an hour and the stress that you might have with normal driving with all the switchbacks you don't need to deal with because the car is handling it for you and I'm actually pleasantly surprised that at least sitting here in August of 2021 the car seems to be doing a pretty good job of anticipating tighter turns and slowing down on its own. And uh, it's really kind of makes the entire experience of driving um, in the mountains a lot more pleasant and a lot less stressful. Another cool thing about being in a Tesla in the mountains is if you're used to driving in the mountains in a gas car, going downhill, you go downhill a lot and you usually want to be very careful not to burn up your brakes so you're spending a lot of time shifting between low gear and second gear and drive. Well in a Tesla you don't need to do any of that because of regenerative braking. It slows down for you. In fact, we've been on this mountain drive and I haven't had to touch the brake once. And it's quite literally a roller coaster. The last five miles here, you'll see we're way up, way down. Um, and But we're averaging right now about 101 watt hours per mile over the last five miles. So it's much better than in the plains. Um, but it seems to work out awesome. You just don't need to ever worry about controlling the downhill slope at all. Another thing about driving in the mountains that you may be wondering about is how is the range? Well, it's kind of all over the place, but on a overall scale, it's actually quite good. And it's better actually than driving across Nebraska. Um, we did 83 miles uh, today up in the mountains and back. We consumed 20 kilowatt hours and our average watt hour per mile was 242 watt hours per mile. Let me just show you what our 30 mile graph looks like. See for the last 30 miles we averaged 10 watt hours per mile and that was mostly on the way back down the mountain. So what you can see going up the mountain seems really really bad but you pretty much get it all back and then some it seems coming back down. So that's it. Just, just a quick video to give you an idea of what it's like to drive a Tesla in the mountains of Colorado. Uh, about driving downhill, autopilot, efficiency. If you like this video, please hit that like button. You had better hit that subscribe button. Subscriptions are absolutely free and that will give you an indication when new content comes out and new content comes out all the time. If you'd like to pick up a Tesla of your own, make sure you use a referral code. Any code will work. If you want to use mine, that will be great. We'll see you next time.